Hello and welcome to Wall Street Training's Mergers and Acquisitions Deal Structuring Course. Please note that these materials are copyrighted and may not be reproduced or disseminated for any reason without express written consent from Wall Street. The M&A training. process and timetable, as we mentioned, usually takes several phases. The first phase is the strategy phase, in which you will again strategize. That might take anywhere about a month or so. The potential buyers communicating with them might take yet another month. Meetings might yet take another month or two, primarily due to scheduling conflicts. The negotiation aspect might actually be considered the quickest, assuming the buyer knows what they want and assuming the seller knows what they want as well and are able to come to terms fairly quickly. The closing portion, once the lawyers are involved, that usually takes the longest as you have to now put into paper exactly what the two parties have wanted. Let's go into a little bit more detail on each of these. The illustrative m and process timetable. Again, strategic planning and preparation of materials. You have to first define your strategy and focus on a sale process. Then there's a document called the offering memorandum. Different companies will have different jargon for this. They might be called an offering memorandum, an OM. They might be called an IM for information memorandum. They might, called, might be called a DM for descriptive memorandum. And to the last two, you would actually even sometimes put the letter C for confidential information memorandum or confidential descriptive memorandum depending on the specific jargon of the company you're working with. You will complete a preliminary basic, uh, not basic, but you'll uh, complete evaluation analysis and start determining who is an appropriate pool of people to contact. This usually requires for sure industry knowledge and contacts and expertise. You have to know who specifically might be interested in your particular company as opposed to contacting everybody and their mother. Once you have determined that and received the vast majority of information all nice and done, you will send preliminary information to buyers, typically a one or two page teaser without any names. If they are interested in learning more and figuring out who the other entity is, you will negotiate and sign confidential agreements or non-disclosure agreements to make sure that they are not able to use the information for anything other than, other than evaluating the transaction. We all know how effective that is. You will then actually send the offering memorandum, which is a very thick business plan, arrange the meetings of buyers who continue to be interested, and then respond to a lot of information requests for additional information, the due diligence process. Then once you have passed preliminary due diligence, the management of both sides would meet to see if there's a potential marriage that can be made. If so, and the cultures fit as well as everything checks out, you will start negotiating in which you have additional due diligence, which usually takes a while. Indications of interest and letters of intents might be passed around. We'll talk a little bit more about that in subsequent slides. You will evaluate and negotiate term sheets and select the final one or two or couple of buyers and then do a hard negotiation process with those guys to hammer out the final deal structure and the deal terms. Then you will do your final due diligence. Everything is subject to satisfactory due diligence. We'll talk more about that in a second. You will prepare and negotiate the definitive agreement, sometimes called the SPA for stock purchase agreement or, or asset uh, agreement. Regulatory filings might be done, and then you'll finally close and announce the official transaction. And on the responsibility list on the right-hand side will be a quick list of who's responsible. Now, keeping in mind the following. The appropriate approximate timing that is listed here is approximate. This has already been built in with a little bit of conservativeness. In other words, being uh, somewhat generous with the time. In reality, however, you might actually say times two or even times three still from this timeline here. Now let's go ahead and talk into a little bit more detail about each one of these items here. 